A bit of an odd one for the report now as we turn our attentions away from Plod and onto a firefighter. Well, an ex firefighter. 59 year old ex firefighter Bill Platt had 24 electronic devices confiscated by police where they found evidence of an impressive 25 million vile pictures and videos of children aged from babies up to 16 years old. Police had gathered information that Platt was downloading indecent images of children and in June 2019 carried out a search of his home. Police confiscated 24 devices and Platt was arrested. Prosecutor Roger Brown said that he was asked about the computer and he said I'm downloading indecent images of children and said that it had been going on since 1998 and said he was relieved. There are so many images it's been impossible to say which ones have images on. There were examinations of the devices. The total number of Category A images was 15,690. The total number of Category B images was 15,753. And the total number of Category C images was 837,729. There were 1,024 Category A videos and it was said the police reviewed over 25 million images from the devices. A total of 11 million, 11 million images were identified and another million were not checked. In total, there were 12 million images, which was the biggest number Mr. Brown said he, said he had ever come across. I believe the difference between the numbers is the amount of images that may have been downloaded and deleted. So you've got evidence of them rather than the actual image still on the devices. Platt was candid in his interview, speaking about speaking out about the ages of the children in the images depicted to be aged from babies to children aged 16. He had also taken some non-sexual pictures of children getting onto a bus, which the prosecutor said was a worrying change of tactic. Officers found also 976.22 caliber bullets in a box in Platt's house. He had previously had a gun license but gave it up and had left the ammunition in the house. Platt was said to be a man of previous good character. Yeah, only because he hadn't been caught. Clearly, he didn't have a previous good character, seeing as this has been going on since about 1998. Mitigating Nicholas Hammond said that his client had retired as a firefighter before setting up a business as a photographer. Nicholas Hammond, representing Platt, said the defendant had the good sense to plead guilty at the first opportunity before the lower court. The majority of his work in life, he had contributed well to society. He worked to the benefit of the public and had an exemplary record. He contributed well and assisted to the public, the public, often putting his own life in jeopardy. Since his arrest, he has addressed his behaviour to some extent by availing himself of safer lives. He has gone to seek help to address his behaviour. This has been hanging over him for three year period. Sentencing Alex Leach QC said there was an enormous number of images that were found. Well, that's an understatement. He said this was a substantial collection of sickening images depicting the rape and sexual abuse of children. I'm told you've been tackling the root of your offending that your partner stands by you and the probation service feel they can assist you and that you are a good candidate for rehabilitation. Rehabilitation with evidence of some 25 million images. Alex Leach QC, you're a fucking joke. He added, I have received a letter from Safer Lives and the probation service who say you do pose realistic prospects of rehabilitation. A short custodial sentence would not accomplish those aims. So based on that last sentence, you can guess that a man with evidence of probably the largest haul ever of indecent material didn't get sent to prison. Instead, he got handed 20 months in prison, suspended for two years, 25 days of rehabilitation and 200 hours of unpaid work. He was also made subject of a central harm prevention order for 10 years, which includes terms that will ban him his use of the internet without informing the police and ban him from downloading any software which hides his internet history. And we've already seen that that shit doesn't work either. Uh, he must also sign the notification requirements on the sex offenders register for 10 years. I mean, that'll teach him. It'll certainly scare other paedophiles into giving up their sick habit, won't it? Unfucking believable.
Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.